My name is Robbie Hardaway. I play on the CSUN Sports Club team. Um, I'm a communications major, and I'll be graduating in the fall of 2015. I'm William David, and this is the Matador Spotlight. And, and this week we got uh, Robbie Hardaway. He's a basketball player for the Sport Club here at CSUN. How you doing? Uh, what? Uh, how did you uh, choose CSUN? Um, I would say probably I was a senior in high school. It was either CSUN or Fullerton. Um, but I pretty much visited CSUN's campus, and I just fell in love with the campus. Um, it looks pretty much different than other campuses. Um, when it comes down to like the sports scenery, um, they have pretty much pretty good sports programs. Uh, the people here are pretty much chill and relaxed. Um, but pretty much the communications program is what I got into as well. So um, it's pretty good. Okay, what are you looking to do with the communications degree? Uh, with the communi communications degree, uh, I'm pretty much going to do like some psychology types of things where I'm going like, to count counsel people and mostly like relationships, marriages, and families. Um, the communication aspect, the reason why I chose it as my major is because just in case something fell off, communications is a broad type of major, so I can just do anything I want to. Yeah, other than that, it's, you know, counseling. Okay. But um, counseling is really what I want. Oh, nice. Um, how did you hear about the sports club and get involved with the basketball team? Uh, it was my freshman year. Um, freshman year, I was actually on it with pretty much all the seniors. So we actually went to Vegas and we competed against uh, UNLV and all the different top schools. And um, I actually went and I didn't even get to play. Um, but I was actually sitting there and pretty much just listening and just seeing everything that was going on. And I was a younger guy, so of course I didn't get to play and do as many stuff as I wanted, wanted to. But uh, when it came down to it, um, I knew either I was going to get my chance later on. So I stayed with the sports club. I stayed with it uh, pretty much for like two or three years. And eventually now I'm pretty much like the top player, I would say, for, for the sports club. Would you uh, advise some students to check out sports clubs? Is it a good way to like meet people? And... Yes, definitely. Uh, there's like... I didn't really know this, but there's at least like 20 different sports clubs out there, um, including like karate, freaking boxing. That's really awesome. And I didn't know they compete like either like uh, nationally and they compete regionally. So um, everybody has a talent. Um, not everybody's good at certain things, but there's so many sports clubs out there that you could possibly get better at. You know, you can practice at certain things and pretty much. Um, Know, definitely get involved. There's always good people around. CSUN is filled with pretty good people. So you'll always meet new people who actually know other people and you get so many connections. So that's a good definitely get involved. Okay, we're gonna switch gears here with the questions and let the students get to know you in person a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do a little thing called rapid fire where I ask you a question and just off the top of your head you just answer okay. for that. Alright. What's your favorite video game to play? Favorite video game, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> Favorite album right now? Um, I don't have one right now, but of all time, I would say it was Little Wayne, uh, Car Carter 3. Okay. That was my favorite one. What, what about your favorite just music genre? Um, honestly, it's, it's going to be hip hop, but really like, it's kind of like classical right now. I've always loved classical music because it's just chill, so that's just me. Uh, what about uh, your favorite food? Favorite food? I love everything. But if I had to choose, probably pancakes. <laughs> pancakes. And is your favorite sport basketball? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, Robbie. Well, uh, thanks for doing this interview and letting the students get to know you. And um, and just stay tuned for next week's edition of the Matador Spotlight. We'll see you next time.